Hey there, book nerds of the internet. Welcome back to Confab with Abs. Today I'm actually going to be getting around to another book review, which I'm really, really excited about. I just finished a buddy read with Portal in the Pages, and we decided to read Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. In this book, you follow a character, Jacob Jankowski, and he is a veterinary student for, you know, dramatic reasons, decides to leave school, and he ends up kind of falling into a circus. Actually, he jumps on a train, and he becomes their veterinarian because that's what he studied, and he didn't finish school, but good enough for a circus, right? And so you follow him as he goes through all of this drama and this thrilling intrigue, because there are lots of characters, as you can imagine, in a circus. Circus. There's a midget that he rooms with that hates him for a while who ends up being pretty nice. There's an elephant who is stupid and not stupid and you kind of figure out where that storyline goes. There's a girl, Marlena, that he falls in love with and her husband August who is crazy and all of those kind of things. And if you haven't read it, you should go check it out maybe. I mean, if, if circuses and, you know, romance are your thing, like, it's it's alright. I'm gonna go into it a little bit more, and so if you don't want to hear, you know, kind of the ending, then you should probably go, but that's kind of the whole thing I want to talk about, so here we go. So basically, I didn't love this book. I wanted to. I, I've heard good things about it, and circuses are fun, right? It's thrilling as they try to, like, swindle money off of the rubes, as they call the normal people, and they get kicked out of town, and they buy parts off of other traveling circuses as they go underwater because it's the depression. But I didn't love it. I just couldn't. And it wasn't really the characters, it was the plot. It's... the fact is, I'm sick of this storyline. Um, I feel like in so many romantic books and movies, the whole storyline revolves around a girl who has someone either they're dating or engaged to or married to, but and but obviously they're the they're wrong for them because they're not as handsome or they're not exotic or exciting they're boring they're you know normal this that and the other thing and so basically the girl's with the wrong guy and she realizes this and falls for this other guy and has to be with him and they have to figure out how they can be together kind of thing right and i just have a huge problem with it like why why do the authors and, you know, directors of these stories have to be so manipulative to the men? The, the you know, the side men that are so one-dimensional and, and so... Even if they're not... Okay, so the character in this book, August, isn't really one-dimensional, but I still feel like they manipulate the side man, the side... the third wheel, so that they're not good enough. And I just think it's so disingenuous to men. Like, we talk so much about women and how we're portrayed, and I completely agree with a lot of those things, and honestly, in the storyline, I think there are some problems with the female characters almost always, but my biggest... my first biggest problem is how the men are are portrayed, how they're shown. I remember going to see Leap Year, and I remember my dad saying afterwards that he felt like the guy that she left, because the guy that she left was some, like, business executive, business, you know, working man type of thing. And my dad's a professor of business, and he's like, I feel like that guy. I'm not interesting. I'm not Irish or Scottish. I'm not that interesting. I'm not that exciting. He, w he was just frustrated with the film and the, and the way that that it was shown. And I completely agree. Yeah, the other guy that she met in Leap Year was interesting and handsome, but that's just how he was shown. That's just the manipulations of the movie, the manipulations of the story to make you think, oh, she shouldn't be with that guy, she should be with this guy. How many times do women in real life think, oh, the guy I'm with right now, he's kind of boring or he's too normal, and he's run of the mill, whatever, when honestly he's a really good guy and thinks, oh, if only, you know, somebody would find me and sweep me off my feet. This is the Disney Prince effect. This isn't real life. Yes, you should be able to fall in love and you should love the man that you love, but... You don't, you shouldn't expect a prince to sweep you off your feet. Men are human and women are human, and we need to get over that and learn to love each other. Issue number two is the way that the woman is portrayed in this type of story, because the woman almost always realizes that she's in a bad relationship once she's met the next man who is supposed to fix everything or is supposed to fill that void, that hole. Why does she need to realize it? through another man. I'm not saying that there's not a better relationship out there, but why do, why is it always that a serious relationship, a romantic relationship, should fix it? Romantic relationships don't always fix things. You need to be able to be your own person. 
you know, romantic relationships are great and people help each other out when, when the times are tough and you feel beat down, but you need to be your own person. And these women aren't allowed to be their own person. They aren't allowed to say, this is not a good relationship that, and I don't want to be in it. All they're allowed to do is say, oh, look at that guy. Look at the way he makes me feel. Oh, this is wonderful. I just, I just, I'm sick of this story. I'm sick of it. I don't feel like I need to be that woman. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me what you think of Water for Elephants. I might be reading way into it. Tell me why you like romantic movies and why, 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 why do we like the storyline? What, why is it okay? Why can we treat people this way in stories? Why can't we give a little bit more credibility to both men and women. And yes, there need to be stories with men and women that are broken in various ways and maybe they can help each other out of it, but I feel like this particular storyline is very stale. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Maybe I'm way out of line. If I were to give Water for Elephants a rating, I'd give it, I don't know, 3.5 probably. Check it out if you want. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I like the next book a little bit better and we can chat about that. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.